A fire burned on a hillside just south of Roundup yesterday, but there was no cause for alarm because this particular blaze was years in the making. As Q2's Connor Pregitzer shows us, one small fire today can prevent big fire destruction in the future. Prescribed burns are a key part of wildland fire safety and are carefully planned by the Bureau of Land Management to make sure everything goes as expected. No details are overlooked. The planning process accounts for terrain, fuel type, and up-to-date weather reports. A prescribed burn begins with an altering of fuel structures via hand cutting, a procedure that takes place in the years leading up to the prescribed burn. Chris Barth, a public information officer for the Bureau of Land Management, tells us that prescribed fires are an important tool in preparing for future wildfires. You know, it's done with, with uh, a lot of planning, a lot of uh, resources to help make sure that it's done safely. Uh, but we also are doing it, uh, we're, we're, we're changing the fuel, changing the conditions so that if a fire was to burn through here, you know, we've changed, uh, we've, we've improved the likelihood of having a successful um, suppression effort. The crews burn a black line around the edge of the burn unit to establish boundaries to contain their fire. The fire is started by a drip torch, which most closely resembles an oversized upside down kerosene lamp, which methodically drips fire onto the landscape. And it comes through here and it pours out this little, uh, this little opening. And then this piece is like the wick that's lit. So the fuel just continues to feed that, that stays lit, and that's what they use to drag across the ground. In addition to the increased resiliency to future forest fires, Barth tells me that this process is actually very healthy for the forest, and that if we return to the same spot in the spring, it will be lush, green, and healthy. He says that ultimately the goal of these fires is a safer and healthier Montana for us all. From just south of Roundup, this is Connor Pregitzer with MTN News. Thank you, Connor. And weather conditions are closely monitored in all prescribed fires to avoid active fires in unsafe conditions. And Connor tells us the fire supervisor he was with there says his crew is already looking forward to this weekend when they can assess the changing forecast that could create some of these unsafe conditions.